All right, welcome back. This is M Dog, and we have got a lot to do. I really wanted to test some things out here at um, at winding, uh, and so we're gonna do that. Since there's just a little bit of daytime left, we're gonna cast just a few times over here. So instead of you know last time we were trying casters, I then saw another post. Still using size 20 hook, but <clears throat> going for um, maggots on the line. That also seemed to be doing pretty well in terms of catching bleak and occasionally um, occasionally some decent, uh, there's a bleak, occasionally some decent dace as well. So I thought we would try this for a minute. We've also got that spot in the corner here at winding on red worms and we'll just see what we can catch burn through our red worms that we've collected thus far and we can do that once the uh, daytime is over here um, and then honestly we may go to Belaya for a little bit I, I sort of I mean I, I, I'd like to get some time in at Belaya maybe not fishing there at night but at least fishing during the day some just get some spin fishing i don't always do that much spin fishing here early in the leveling process on these guides so it'd be fun to just kind of get in the groove of doing a little bit of belaya spin fishing with that nice spin setup we got Um, oh wait, do we have enough silver now? I think we do. See, that's the other thing we could do is, um, whether it's right now or another time we could try using that really thin line. So one thing I, I did do, there was this bleak order. So I turned in the bleak. If you remember, we saved bleak from last time. So we got 21 silver from five bleak and then we sold the rest of our bleak and there's 399 for those so what would it be like if we went ahead and bought uh what was it fluorocarbon line let's see how expensive it is might be fun to test this real quick so we could do 1.3 or 1.7 does it matter on this goes up to four goes up to four I bet that that diameter difference doesn't matter this is 0.26 I mean it is such better I'm just trying to def so this is what they were using that post I was talking about yesterday but just kind of trying to decide if 1.3 should be enough. Like we're only catching small stuff. Let's let's just try it. It's going to be a little interesting, but let's just try it. All right. So we're running out of daylight quick. So this is going to be a short test. We, hopefully we can come back to this in the coming days. Um, it is a lot thinner line, a lot thinner line. So if any of these fish were catching or considered cautious fish, it could make a difference. I, I don't know, but. We are definitely on the bleak, which again, so many times there's good cafe orders. I don't mind catching the bleak, but it would be nice to find some dace as well. See, that wasn't a bleak, I don't think, but <sighs> we didn't get it. All right, there it is. That's what we've been looking for, and we want them even bigger. We want them to be just like just over a kilo. Pretty 
pretty quick bite there. So, you know, I could be wrong, but doesn't it seem like the line might matter? There's another bleak. But we're, we are seeing more days with the thinner line. That's our first marker days in a while. I mean, I guess the other thing you could argue that's like, well, you've also got different, different time of day, but I don't know. It seemed like as soon as we switched the line, we started getting a little bit different results. All right, we're going to go to 25 centimeters, and like last time, we're going to switch to caster. We've got size 20 hook and either maggot or caster here. Catching plenty of bleak and always a chance of these days. And even just a few nice days will be, especially if you're a lower level, a really nice payday. So if we can get zeroed in on them, it could be a really good thing. Man. A good bite rate between the bleak and the dace. It's a good bite rate. I don't know why that happens so often. This spot. Oh, that's a nice one. There it is, 100 gram. I think that's like a 10 silver fish right there. At least it used to be. We'll see if it still is. Hundred gram dace. That's what we're looking for. That's gonna be bleak. Maybe not. That'd actually be a roach or something. Oh, nope, dace, 100 grams, 19.1 on float. We should have gone the other direction. We should have gotten the, the micro line that was a little bit stronger than this. I think the bite rate would have still been fine. And I can just tell that we're, you know, if you do this too long on this line, you are gonna, 
you're going to hit the wrong roach or whatever. You're going to snap some lines, go through some hooks. As long as it doesn't happen too often, I think you're making enough here to be okay with it. But yeah, if the 1.5 is out of stock, I would go with 1.7, not 1.3. Ah, that was going to be another one, I think. All right. So let's go comma comfort. Um, needed to symbol one of them, the wrong one. All right. So what are we on bottom fishing? 24.7. Okay. So let me go get set up on this spot down in the corner. One thing I do want to do so I can show you on the map where it is, we're going to go to the administration building here real quick. And we are going to get this map to winding so I can show you where we're going to be. But I'll be right back once I've got them set up. All right. So this is where we would probably wish that we had... Some 24 hooks honestly but we don't at the moment and I'm not gonna sweat it we're just gonna go 10 meter clip and we're using red worms and like I said we're down here at 110 111 126 something like that and let's see we need to set this one up meter clip casting a little more to the east than normal for me at least in this spot first fish is a perch and then i think on the third rod we'll actually go um worm not red worm because We only have 37 red worms and worms should also be pretty good here. There's plenty of rough and stuff like that to still do okay, I think. So 10 meter clip down here in the corner, right on the edge of G3 and H3. And uh, we're kind of casting. Normally I would cast sort of right at this bank over here, but this time we're kind of going a little more towards uh, a little east of north this time. And these are 42 gram quiver tips. This new comma comfort basic bottom setup we have gives us 14 gram quiver tips, which is just much nicer for the small fish and stuff we're catching over here. I think if I would have just put that straight back down, we would have been better off. Holding it for that long actually is what ended up. I picked it up before the fish was fully on there and then the fish popped on and then popped off. Wow. Blue bream. And this is what I've been hearing about this spot is just catch so many different fish species. I'm 
Amazing. Yeah, just the number of species here. That's unusual to see two white eye bream, both of them markers, healthy size like that. 127, 313. One, two, three, four, five, six species in this spot. Very nice. I'm almost keeping up with the red worms just by digging. We've had, a, there's a nice nace. We've had a lucky few digs. I mean, we're at 35 red worms now. I think we started at, you know, 38 or something. We're, we're almost keeping up. It'll be nice when we have three of the comma comfort and can just see some of these smaller bites a little more clearly. I think that's on there. Maybe not fully. All right, so. We were talking about this on stream today. You really want to, load capacity is five here on the rod. You really want to go down to 4.4 on the leader, but you have to buy the, the tool to make your own leader. I just don't know if I want to, um, If I want to take a chance on basically the way this is set up, we could break the reel. I think I'm just going to go much smaller leader size. 3.2. Put smaller line on there. And we'll just, you know, if we lose a fish, we lose a fish, but hopefully we'll catch some, make some silver off that hornet before that happens. I, I mean, I think we could probably get a little bit more out of this setup, but I'm sitting here looking at this reel and this is a 2.7 is max drag. Even if it has a mech weight of, let's say it's like three and a half, you know, four or something, best case scenario. It's very risky. So hopefully, you know, the people that I was talking to about this in the stream earlier today, hopefully you're also watching this. I think we were setting, we were talking about setting it up theoretically in the stream very aggressively. I didn't have the real info at that point. I would say 3.2 is, is more of a, what you want to go for there. All right, so it's three. It might be nice to start heading to Belaya if we're gonna if we're gonna try to hit some graylings before too much longer here. All right, so it's now three twenty one. I think it'd probably be a 
good idea to go ahead and start go ahead and start heading that way so I mean I think that spot seems very good if you want to just if you want to Try to dig as often as you can and get get enough red worms like that spot seems really nice um yeah we're one rough away that's sad but it's only 6.94 silver the nace we got wasn't big enough but you know you can see we if we would have stayed there long enough we probably would have gotten a couple of cafe orders and that's 56 more silver uh, look at the silver on these on the blue bream, white eye, not bad, Don, it's not bad. So that's up to 70, and now we're headed to Belaya. For the first time, we're gonna go try to use this new or this setup at Belaya. So we're gonna try 73 56. So there's two spots here that we can try based on recent reports that I'm seeing. 73 56 and 73 45. 73.45 is going to be right at spawn. I mean, just like right here. But the first one I was going to try is 73.56. Like they're casting... Just kind of east. So like this and try 18 all right so it's 416 like I think let's at least wait till 430 before we start casting even that's early for these for spin fishing but Okay. All right, I think we're ready. We'll start at 18. You obviously can do a lot faster as well, but. The question of course will be, are we able to cast it far enough to get into the grayling? as the sun is starting to come up here. If we're not catching fish here, we'll go try that other spot. But I think we want to at least wait till, you know, 7 a.m. We now in seven, we'll see how much activity we see. I think it's just really cool looking set up there. Okay. 
All right, there's a grayling. All right, let's go up to like 25. Let's just see if there's any difference. All right, so we hit like 515 on our first grayling. All right, immediately we got a bite here. It is another grayling. Looks like a marker. Not quite, 313. Going down to 24 retrieval speed. There's nothing this could be this small that would be any good. I guess we are getting points in spin fishing on fish like that. Did not mean to do that. Reel it in real quick. Accidentally closed the bail before it landed. There we go. So we're using this red hornet. We also have the darker spiker. We don't have the spiker 18 yet, though that's probably the next one I would get. We're catching a lot of grayling. They're a little small. All right, let's throw the spiker out there just for fun. One time. This isn't really a sunny day kind of spiker here, but spikers are so good. It's worth trying it either way. I don't know, I'm probably like a cast or two away from trying the other spot. Let's go back to the Hornet. While it's still early morning, it might be good just to kind of try to get a baseline for the other spot as well. Just 
just in a sense, this spot feels a little slow considering almost all of them have been undersized, right? So the other spot was 7345 casting just right of east. Let's just see. Um, so like this. Fish on already. Good sign. There's a grayling. Love to see it. All right. That is not a grayling, is it? Nice little one kilo asp there. Yeah, there's definitely grayling here, huh? Yeah, we're getting more fish on the drop. I mean, you know, you got to remember time of day we switched as well, but this spot seems like it's a little bit healthier, a little more steady than the last spot. I don't know, though. You know, it's worth trying both, I would say. I mean, we're in that time of day, early morning like this, where you you want it to be a good bite rate because it's going to slow down later. And if, it, if it's already slow, then later is going to be miserable. Oh, the perch came at the very last second. Just to the points in spin fishing, huh? All right, cafe, no, gr oh, there is a grayling order, but those are big graylings compared to what we're catching. Um, those are actually pretty big graylings compared to what we've seen so far. All right, here we go. So notice that I've moved back down to 73.57. I was catching so many small graylings, I just sort of decided to hold off on the alls button until I hooked into something that looked like it'd be worth worth showing you guys. So uh, we're back down here at 7357. Unfortunately, this is not a grayling. So uh, if this was a grayling, it would be very exciting. But this is still a nice fish. We'll take it. Uh, it's using the current against us right now. It's a little chub, isn't it? Yeah, 2.4 kilo chub. Just shows you how weak. I mean, you know, this is a... This is an action spinning setup. This is not a, a, super, a super aggressive one. So 73.56, which is kind of right here. 
and casting east and for what it's worth that chub was caught on a little slower retrieval speed down to 16. We'll see if we can get back-to-back -back fish for you if not I'll just update you when another decent one gets on as we'll go we're, we're, we're past 30 minutes already so we'll just go a little bit longer on this video just yeah just dipping our toes in Belaya there's still so much that fun we can have it winding a mosquito too but it does feel like progression wise it's nice to start thinking about Belaya and Old Berg some All right, same spot, same speed. Looks like a, at least another marker grayling here. It's a good sign. So we're, you know, even though the other spot initially felt like maybe the better grayling spot, we are starting to see a few fish here as well. You know, different factors as, uh, you know, because of this setup, the limited skill points we have and all that, we're not casting that far. And so if you do have the capability of casting farther, you may get a much better bite rate and you might find pockets of larger fish. Um, but we're just kind of limited with the skill, skill choices we've made and then just limited skill points in general, uh, as well as just this particular gear. I don't know. One thing I'm not sure of is different line. Like if we put braided line as our main line, would that give us any more casting difference? I don't, I don't think I normally think of line type as affecting casting distance. But as I was sitting here thinking about it, I'm not actually sure. So we, we could try it. But um, overall, both of these spots for me, at least right now, are a little slow. Now again, we don't have some of the lure options purchased yet that might be worth looking at but based on the lures we do have every once in a while we're hitting a decent fish like this but not super consistent at least at the moment we may just be kind of waiting on this fish to either pop off the hook or wear itself out. Okay, we're in control at least for a minute here. That's well, a perch. Now that's disappointing. Uh, in, the, in that spot, the way we caught it, I was not expecting that to be a perch. 1.25 kilo perch, wow. I'm trying to remember to do this every once in a while. Actually, keep digging. Now the downside is that does affect our how far we can cast until we get our energy back up.
let's see what species this is. We need to pull this fish in. Oh, it is a grayling. Okay. Okay. So we're back down at like the place that's more that's more like the spawn area. That was actually the best grayling of the day. It's just been very slow. I mean, it's chill. Like I don't mind. It's fun, frankly. But I don't. I've been pausing a lot because I don't really want to like. You know. Have the video running for every two hundred gram grayling I catch, and some of the time it's been a pretty slow bite rate. I mean, I've just been bouncing back and forth between these two spots. The one nice thing about that grayling is it almost gives me hope that like, well, what if we hit another decent one? We could do that cafe order or something, but we shall see. It has gotten overcast and a little dark, so I, I probably should be switching between this and the spiker just to give it a try. So maybe we'll just play this out for the next in-game hour or so because the spinning bite rate is going to slow down dramatically. I think I stay down at this spot though. We don't go back to the other one. If I had to choose one of these two spots today, I think it would be this one though. It's very close. It's like almost dead even, I would say. Let's go down to, I don't really know what I want to do retrieval speed. All right, let's go spiker. That's the other thing is I've been all over the place with retrieval speed as well. See if this hits anything at all. We're at 25. I probably won't speed up. And we have not gotten an Achille yet, right? But at this point, I think I would get the Spiker 18 before, before Achille. And I'd probably get another Hornet too. I like Achilles, but these newer ones are just a little bit more consistent sometimes. And um, it's nice having especially different colors during different weather patterns and such. All right. Could this be another eight? If, like, if this is a grayling and it's at least 800 grams, we have something to consider, right? It looks like it is. So that's a one kilo grayling. Two very nice fish. Oh, we are up here. I apologize. We're up at the spot up here. So forget everything I said. All right. I'm going to take a chance that there's plenty of time left on that. Uh, I got confused about which spot I was on. I've switched back and forth so much. I'm going to take a chance that the cafe order has enough time that we can keep fishing here for another like few casts and then we'll go see if it's worth it to um, turn in those grayling for the cafe order if it still exists. If not, it's fine. We're getting big XP at level 12 when you do spin fishing like this doesn't take too many for you to see that XP bar jump. So that's what we're getting right now. Pretty good chunk of XP. Now the silver is okay. I mean, it's good, but it's just been a little slow. Not not enough markers. And considering how much XP we're getting, well, we we just need to save a lot of silver. Is the bottom line. We need to do some mosquito and winding cafe orders, or keep grinding away here at Belaya to get those last two starter feeder setups. I don't really want to use the first starter rods to fish for bream at Oldberg. I, I, I want to at least have our set of three uh, starter kits.
All right, I'm gonna try one cast at a little faster. Oh, see that perch at the very end? Just slightly faster, and then we'll slow it back down. 19.5 is our longest cast at this point. That cast went a little farther right than usual. Okay, there's a little, little grayling. I'm gonna try to go straight out this way a little bit. See what this does. Since it's a faster retrieval speed, I'm not as worried about it getting too far downstream. Oh, I thought a fish was about to hit it. Apparently not. Oh, there we go. And that is a grayling, another nice one. 865, that's closer to the actual size that we're going for. I'm keeping you here, just kind of letting you see the actual bite rate instead of just unpausing every few minutes when I finally get a decent sized fish on. And so as you see, it, it's just pretty slow and it's this way at both of these spots. So I need to maybe do some digging a little deeper, see if there's other spots that we need to check as well uh, for next time we fish here. Overall, it's been a slow day spin fishing. But it's, it's fun, you know, it's chill. It just, it is what it is. Yeah, we have plenty of time on this order. And right now that's 65 silver. I'm sure it's gonna be worth it to, um, all right. So this is more like here. I'm gonna go 22 this time. Try this spot one or two more casts before wrapping it up. What were we doing here before? Like 18 speed, I think 16, 18, something like that. We really were slowing it down here at times. Guess let's try that one more time. All right, I'm gonna go all the way down to 16, cast it more just to the right of east. See if we can get a bite here. What is it, 10, 9, 9.06 in the evening. It's getting a little late, but not too late to catch one more. Definitely can do speed up when we're going this slow. Not looking good, is it? And if you're getting a real slow bite rate, retrieval speed that slow does not feel good. All right. We got to get something this time. All right. 
So, uh, cafe order for, what was it? 65, that's insane. All right, grayling, weight, so it'd be these two. So 21 or 65. So there is a quick 65 silver, which we will take. That is awesome. And we did not get anywhere close on anything else. Oh, I do, I do like to see the uh, rough order. Sometimes rough spots can pop up here at Belaya. And that is a rich rough order. Okay, and another 68 silver. So that's 130, basically. On top of everything else we've done. That is a lot of silver. I, I, that is pretty nice. It's amazing. I mean, even, even, um, yeah, it's just really good. Okay. So I'm going to leave us here at Belaya just in case I decide next episode we want to start here on spin fishing. I, I just don't know, but it, you know, since we're paying travel costs to come and go from here, it doesn't make sense to leave not knowing what we'll do. But we're up to 195 silver, which means we can already get our second feeder kit and have some silver to sp spare. So we're probably one episode away from having all three feeder kits if we go that direction, if we want to do that. Okay. As always, thanks for watching Tight Lines, and I will see you next time.